it's going to be a close game regardless, right? What do you, what do you think it's this game oh, is going to yeah, be? There, like there's 38, no doubt. 38, 35? Is it going to be like the Seattle game? It's going to be a track meet? Yep. You know, stuff like that. The big key for us defensively, obviously, it's like it's not what we've been doing. It's not shutting guys down. It's turning the ball over. Yes. Right? It's turning the ball over, holding them to teams to three at different points and stuff like that. So we're giving up yardage, and that's cool because this defense, you know, makes things happen. So they need to make things happen. Like, again, Spenny, Spenny, I know that Kirk Cousins is your guy. I know it's 1 o'clock. I know, you know, mm-hmm. how you like me now and all that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I got to think that what we're building here, this is this is the game. I this agree. is the game. And, and as an athlete, Knowing where you've been and what you've built, that this is the game that you know could propel you to the and, rest of the season. And the Lions, when they played the Vikings the first time, they lost that game because of safety play. And I don't remember if it was Juju Hughes or Kirby Joseph that was inserted into that game after Tracy Walker went down. But the Ly- or the Vikings won because of a blown coverage and K.J. Osborne was wide open. That's not going to happen this game. Kirby Joseph is playing lights out. He knows where he's supposed to be. And in that game, Jerry Jacobs wasn't available. Seatbelt gang's back. He's here. He's going to be strapped to Adam Thielen or he's going to you know break coverage with, with Justin Jefferson, whoever it is. I'm way more confident in him than the way Omani was playing at the beginning of the year. And Romeo might be back too, so that might be <laughs> oh, another. Hey, that hey. might be another pass rusher to throw in there. I'm just saying, aren't that Romeo? I'm just saying. Uh.